So I'm back on the UK pavilion with a very familiar face. I've got Marcos with me from Audio Scenic. So Marcos, since you were on our stand last year, tell us a little bit about what's happened with Audio Scenic. Well, so what's happened uh, with Audio Scenic since last year? Last year we came and we were not really a startup. We hadn't received our funding, and then uh, since March we are a startup with really with funding. We are an independent company. And it was great because last year we came here, we met a customer that has been very important in us really to, to push forward our commercial development. And this year our customer is unveiling a product on their suite, which is going to be a gaming soundbar all built around our technology. So yeah, it's super cool. You know? Fantastic. And so why do you keep coming back to CS? I know you've been here a few times. So, so why, what draws you back each year? So I really, I think, Coming to CES is like a, CES is the coolest show on the planet. So it's really where, where everything happens, you know. So here it's not only us, it's so many people that want to fuel innovation, want to create innovation, want to find business leads. And this is what we're going, we're doing here. And everybody is concentrated here on a week. So it's super important to be at CES, you know. Brilliant. And if you can give me one highlight from the show so far, what would it be? So one highlight for the show, I think it's a war demo that everybody is enjoying it, you know, that's, that's really great. But I think for us is that we, thanks, thanks to being here again this year, we have found new leads that hopefully will span our company into other markets, you know. That's really good. That's really good, Marcos. Thank you very much for speaking to me. Yeah. And, if you want to carry, <laughs> and if you want to carry on following us at the show this year, go to futureworlds.com or follow us on social media.